Hi there people, audio collectors. Uh, today I'm going to be making a cassette um, with some new CDs and some stuff I got hold of on the internet that wasn't necessarily around in the cassette days. I still take my boombox out on the street. I got rechargeable batteries for it and everything, so you know it's important for me to to do this. And um, basically, the video isn't really about me. It's about you. It's about me telling you the best kind of boombox to get if you want to make your own cassettes. First of all, make sure it's got a DIN on the side. Some of these boomboxes, they don't have any inputs in whatsoever and you get it and all you can do is play existing tapes. But if you get one with the DIN on the in and some inputs on the side, then yeah, you can plug that into the back of an amplifier that has the DIN or the monitor input. You don't necessarily need to buy a vintage amp to do this. I've got a vintage amp, but I know that they still make amps today and they specialize in I mean some amps have still got valves in them and I'm sure you can buy amps still with the din I'm sure of it so yeah you plug that in the back there and yes this this video is really not for you know people who have been collecting stuff for years because you obviously know this stuff this stuff's like basic to you but you know some people do get caught up in spending their money on something and get hold of it and it can't do what they want it to do and you know just giving a helping hand to the starters that's all and also just happy because you know i can do this stuff and it kind of shows you know the people who know me they know i collect stuff and i'm into all this sort of stuff and you know why not take part in showing what i do with my stuff and how i do it so anyway so i've put the plug in the back of the amp and the cassette and I'm gonna get something going on YouTube or oh, on just on the net. Okay, I'll take it back to the beginning. So I'm gonna just make play from the start. Let that play. Okay, so this won't have a recording level. It will just be a set level. You turn it up and down with the volume, yeah, but that doesn't make any difference on the amp. When you start pressing record, it will just record a set level. Unless you Unless you turn it up and down on the PC, that is. But you you shouldn't really interfere with the recording level that is set as, because it's done like that for a reason. Okay, that's recording. You can't touch any of the settings on this. So yeah, it's got its own level. If it was a bad recording, then I could give it a little bit of a boost down here. Okay, so that's at its highest. It's got another, got another volume there on the side. Okay, I'll wax it up a bit. Now you can't do that with CDs, just the internet. So that's going to come through a nice louder. But you don't want to have it too loud because um, it won't come out nice. You don't want to push it over the peak. The last light or the last number on any level, you don't want to take it. Just keep it low. I saw that flash. I saw the last one flash a couple of times. You don't want to do that because uh, well, it might sound too good, honestly. It will sound crumbly. That should have come out alright. Okay, so let's stop that. Well, so it's always good to re um, record the onto the cassette that you're going to play, the, like record onto the machine that you're going to play the tape on because you're using that same head to pick up what was recording it's exactly in line and it's just going to come out good so yeah i decided i was going to make a tape today so i thought i'd just show why you know i pick these boom boxes with the inputs on the side and why it's best not to buy one without it because you don't want to be like i said you don't want to be stuck with one that you can't do anything with but you know just play old 
existing tapes you can actually update your cassette collection with modern stuff you know so this is going to play and you're going to hear the volume go up Good recording. See now it's turned up and here it's, it's going to come through a little bit crumbly that's why you mustn't interfere with the volume level it was okay the way it was now it's going to come through crumbly and the last light's peaking that's not too bad i think that when i was interfering with the volume on the pc i think i did take it up at that moment but then I brought it down again because I didn't think it was right. So I, I put it on a, I put it on a setting that's all right. But yeah, so when you start recording, just just you know make sure that you don't go over the peak level. That's all. But yeah, so that's it. That's what it's all about. So I'm gonna go and make a cassette now, and uh, it's gonna be a good one. And I'm gonna take it down on the street. Catch you later. All the best, Ace.